Blake! Who are you? I already told you I don't want to be with you anymore. You, you! And so many but I didn't get it all. Hello world and welcome to another one of my videos. <coughs> Excuse what you just heard. Hello world and welcome to another one of my videos. Today we're gonna be reacting to Muhammad and Daniel. I had the strongest coffee ever, so I'll probably say some dumb things. So let's get into it. I haven't spoken to Daniel since I left Ohio. Oh, I love that word. I'm stealing it. Spoken. <laughs> I'll be like, hello world and welcome to another one of my videos today. I'm spooking to you from my day. <laughs> nice. I'm stealing it. So I don't know what's going on in our marriage, but there is a part of me that uh, still worried about uh, losing a uh, migraine card or like being deported. <laughs> Bro, I thought he would... <laughs> I'm choking my coffee. <clears throat> I'm gonna die. I thought you would say I miss Muhammad. A part of me worries about Muhammad or uh, Daniel. Ugh, I'm sorry. He's too narcissistic. It's rubbing on me. Um, Daniel. I thought he would be. <laughs> I thought he would be worried about Daniel. He's just worried about the green card. Uh, I'm. I'm so concerned if I still remain in America. Uh, me and Louisa, we have been in uh, Miami for a little while. Uh, since our fight, we haven't spoken to each other for a couple days. We just talking and you just go. Because you're not getting my point. You only see things from your perspective. Nobody I'm else is you just. Your, no, you're not. It's when I said I'm like... not. Okay, you want me to walk out of here right now? Because that's what I feel like doing. I feel that I want to move somewhere else. I should be able to. What? If Louisa leaves me in Miami, um, no, I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. But I'm gonna try to have a serious talk with her and see how things is gonna go. So I just recap to the people that, that did not watch my videos, you know, the weirdos that don't watch the in daily. <laughs> anyway, uh, Danielle and uh, Louisiana, they went to Miami together, but then she didn't like Mohammed probably. And she was thinking about moving to another state, the West Coast, and he did not like it at all. And with his haircut, I just keep calling it the potato haircut because that's what it is. He is upset with Louisiana. Tonight I'm meeting up with Louisa. I'm really hoping that she doesn't like go uh, uh, crazy, losing her temper again. Part of me trying to uh, convince her to stay here with me in Miami, but the other part doesn't want to uh, deal with her anymore. Okay, so I'm not being unfair to Mohammed, but he's literally the one who had a temper when he's been with Louisiana and he's been too demanding from her. The second thing, eh, the, the part of him, the user part, want him to stay, eh, to want Louisiana to stay in America, but the North African part, or I guess like the, the controlling part of him, because he could not control Louisiana, that part could not stand Louisiana's existence. That part of him could not tolerate Louisiana because she's not saying, yes, master. Yes, master. So that's exactly what's happening. He's conflicted be between what he wants and who he is. Okay, we say we are not here for arguing or anything, so... You don't even call me or text me or anything anymore? Like, hey, what's up, how are uh, you? Things is not going well, so I'm just trying to be quiet. So you just, like, disappear that easy? Is that what you do with everybody? I did not disappear, okay? I got kicked out first. Don't say disappear. You didn't get kicked out and moving. <laughs> I just did dishes and I've seen less grease on my sink than I've seen on their faces. What's up with their face? Like, they look so oily. I just want to scrub their faces with it. <laughs> I just want to grab a towel and go in town on their faces. What's happening? Because of your attitude. Attitude? I'm not here to fight or argue or anything. What happened, happened? I'm not fighting or arguing. I'm just I think talking. What is, what's happening, though, is I'm a little upset with you too, Mohammed, and she's upset because you're not the one I got the calls, like, because of you, the stuff you were saying to her. Like, she was crying on the phone with me. I'm so I cannot focus I literally cannot focus on what's being said this girl that she brought looks literally like Muhammad's sister if you told me oh look this is Muhammadina I would believe you she looks just like him except in a female version well, I can't, I can't, I can't even mean stuff you said to me. hey you have no idea what she told me and what she said to me I've never called you any names I've never you put you down to. I've never done any of those things really have we gotten into yes really every single time we get in an argument, what you do, you ask me to leave. You don't do that for someone who came here for you. Okay, okay, so this is another situation of he said, she said, and we have not been in them, so we're just judging the co the book by its cover. We didn't see what really transpired. So I can I, I won't even comment on it, who cares? I just comment on one comment I got from a Tunisian who said I am too hard on Muhammad. Louisa promised a lot of things on to Muhammad that she could not deliver, so that makes it her fault. Excuse me, there are plenty of vans that have free candy on them. Would you ever go and get free candy from any of those white vans? No. 
because there there is there are risks that come from just picking up and going with someone that you don't even know. So it was Muhammad's decision to pack his stuff and go with Louisa. Louisa did promise, but who doesn't promise things? And like who doesn't promise things? I can promise you all the things in the planet, but it's still it's your decision to trust me or not. He to he it was his decision to trust Louisa, and it was a wrong decision. So when are we gonna stop blaming others and taking accountability into the decisions that we make? How did you come there for me? You came by your own will. I didn't make you. I didn't put a gun to your head, did I? Of course you didn't. But you encouraged me to come here. And you said I have a lot of connections, and I'm gonna help you to find jobs and all that stuff. Yeah, and a lot of people would try to encourage you to do bad things. Like for example, I can encourage all of you to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button, hit that bell icon and check out the link of the description if you want to support the channel. But would you really do it? No, because you have the free will to do it. That's just an example, but I'm just saying sell out. <coughs> I'm not here to let people like disrespect me. He's never disrespected me. What did I do? Say, name something, say something. Do you want me to reveal who you really are? Yes, please do that. You know, she's attacking me because she knows that uh, if she starts saying anything, I'm gonna say things that she's not gonna like. Let's just go. <laughs> Muhammad, user or not, bad person or not, good person or not, he actually knows how to defend himself, and that's something that deserves praise. Like you can like or dislike Muhammad, but you cannot stop. Like you cannot tell me it's not really admirable to to see how he defends himself in a foreign language. That's something a lot of people wouldn't be able to do. He is a fake. He's using everybody like he did Danielle. I don't know who who else others. I mean, not that he used me for much because I didn't give him any money, but like to get down here and stuff. We don't call him flick for nothing. No. Nah, lady, you lost all leverage when you left that dinner table. Say it to his face so we can see his reaction because I'm pretty sure he would have had something smart to say back. <laughs> He's, he has a smart tongue anyway. So I don't think he really used her. If he had slept with her, I think she would have exposed him. But I don't think he did because he was really, really afraid of immigration. So I don't think he slept with her. I don't think he took any money of her. She admitted that he didn't take any money of her. He just came, lived there, and she didn't promise on her promises. She didn't deliver on her promises. And that was it for this situation between Muhammad and Louisiana or Greciana, whatever you want to call her. Louisa decided to leave Miami. It's a big mess now. I don't know what to do. Bruh. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the... <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> ah, look at the top of his head. And now, I just got an email from Danielle and she told me that she's just filed for an annulment. Danielle filed for an annulment because she thinks that if she gets the annulment, I'm gonna be like deported because I need a divorce to stay in the States. I've been avoiding Danielle for uh, a long time, but now I have to talk to her about the annulment and the divorce. I am... <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to say what he said. Let's look at this. He has Danielle, Ohio. <laughs> How many Daniels do you know? And why do you have to say? Like, I swear, Muhammad, Daniel, <laughs> Ohio messed him up. He, every time he, like, want to say something bad, bad about Daniel, he also has to include Ohio. I don't know what happened to him in Ohio, but he hates that state. So he has her name as Danielle from Ohio. And the email says... We need to talk. I'm worried about getting the border because I want to stay in the States. Hello? Hey. Yeah? Are you ready to talk? Yeah, I'm ready to talk. I knew the moment that I filed the annulment and he found out about it that he'd want to talk because he wants to be in this country. Oh, now that Louisiana is out of the picture, now you want to talk to Danielle. Now you're worried about getting deported. Honestly, if you're divorced and she filed for a normal, just get deported. Just just accept your accept your defeat and get deported. No, but seriously, all jokes aside, I really don't know what's the right thing to do here because he clearly used her. He clearly used her for the green card. We can already see that. But is it okay for you to deport someone uh, out of like pettiness, or is it not okay? But then again, it's not okay to use people. I don't know. Like, uh, what would you do? Would you deport Mohammed? I would deport. <laughs> uh, we need to talk about the unknown. We need to talk about everything. No, we are not together anymore. 
So I cannot just like keep talking about the marriage. It's not gonna work. I left her and that was a big thing for her. So that's why I think she's doing the annulment, just to hurt me or like get me deported. I feel used by you. You don't treat someone this way that has done so much for you. You know how that hurt me when I see those pictures of you and Louisa? Louisa is one of the women that I accused Muhammad of cheating with. And my suspicions were right. Nah, your suspicions were wrong. I don't think he really cheated on you with Louisiana. And the other thing is, if you just wanted to get him deported, and if he hurt you so much, you wouldn't be having contact with him and trying to solve things. You would just deport him. And <laughs> it's even better if you don't tell him because he wouldn't know that he's getting deported. So you just file for the annulment and keep low key until he gets deported. But I think she just wants his attention to get back with her. Like that's what I really think. You have never shown that you were here for me. How can you show that you're here for me? I'm not here for you anymore. I was here for you, but now I'm here for myself, okay? Danielle accusing me of cheating and talking to other women, but I find out that she's cheating on me with another man. People are started like messaging me on social media and uh, sending me like pictures of that person. We are done, but we still have so many things to talk about. I need to go to uh, Ohio again and meet Daniel face to face so I can convince her to pull the annulment and uh, uh, file for a divorce. So, but if I come, you have to promise me that there is no craziness or anything. Well, you're not going to find out unless she comes. It's kind of I mean that's kind of true when he went with Louisa they kept saying we're just friends we're just friends and he really treated her as a friend even though like he was clearly attracted to her and he really clearly was into her but he kept it clear that they are friends while Danielle and uh, the Technus ambassador I forgot his name Gabrielle I think he really was on a date with Danielle so technically she she but he did not technically speaking if we go by the technicality of what cheating is but i <laughs> they're just both wrong they're just both stupid and i'm trying to make sense out of their stupidity what do you want me to say they're both uh, i'm stupid myself but not that anyway let's just keep watching so i'm coming to ohio okay <laughs> He said it oh, it's so sad. I'm coming to Ohio. <laughs> he said it. Oh my god, that is this. I listen to it again. So I'm coming to Ohio. That is literally the saddest I'm going back home that I've ever heard in my whole life. Scary that my life is depending on Daniel's decision, you know? It's like she's not a stable person, you know? I cannot deal with it. I'm coming to talk to an adult, not a kid. If you are ready for to do that, I will. Yelling is not crazy. For me, it is. Bro, this is literally the exact same thing that Nicole said when she was being loud in the street and obnoxious in the Moroccan streets. She said, Yelling is okay. And she said it with this voice, like the Nicole annoying voice. And now, <laughs> I mean, listen, Nicole is literally, if Nicole stays the same way, she's gonna grow up and be like Danielle. I feel like they're. The people on the show, they are so similar that no wonder they're on the same show. Duh, they pick the craziest examples. This conversation has been a long time coming because he's cheated on me. He didn't love me. And basically he used me for the green card. You need to promise me, will you be calm down when I come? Yeah, I'll be calm down, but we're talking about everything. I just want to talk about the divorce and that's all. I have an interview coming up with the immigration and I need my divorce. So hopefully she, she don't like screw me up and get me deported. I, I have to go now. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Yeah, I don't really know what to think. If Danielle did the whole deportation thing for the right reason, which is, as I said before, uh, getting him deported because you no longer want to be financially responsible of him or of just because to turn the chapter off, then I'd be like, okay, that makes sense. But she literally filed for an omen just to control him and get him to be back with her, at least in my opinion. So that's really, really wrong. But they're, like, they're both wrong. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the, in the comment section. Like and subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notifications check out the links in the description if you want to support the channel and by the way my birthday is coming in five days four days if you want me to do a live stream let me know in the comment section i can do a birthday live stream i have no problem so thank you so much for watching peace